Hello friends, I am Kathir Kothari, student of Chemical Engineering Department. I recently got placed with LNT. So today I am going to share my experience about the whole selection process of LNT. The process consisted of basically three steps. The first one was uh, return test, which was a elimina elimination round. The second was uh, group discussion, which was a scoring round, and the third one was personal interview. Now I am going to tell you everything about this uh, particular three steps. So the first section was written test which consisted of basically uh, two sections. The first one was aptitude and the second one was technical test. Well in the aptitude section there were three subsections verbal, logical reasoning and quant. In the verbal section they asked some basic questions related to reading comprehension and preposition. So if you have fundamental knowledge of English then you can easily clear it. In the quant section uh, they asked some of the basic questions of quant. So you can refer to Alice Agarwal or any of the standard books. Basically it was all about the speed. Uh, and in the third question, third section that was logical reasoning. You can refer to any of the logical reasoning book. And even if you don't refer it to any of the books, you can easily clear it. Uh, there were 75 questions which you have to attempt in uh, 105 minutes. And every section has sectional cutoff. So you have to attempt minimum question, minimum number of questions in every section. The second section was technical section. Well, it was a little bit difficult. You have to have fundamental knowledge of mass transfer operations, heat transfer operations, fluid flow operations and mechanical operations. For mass transfer you should refer to uh, the book by Treble. For heat transfer operations the book by Incropera. And for fluid flow you should refer to McEvan Smith. Uh, it, that section consisted of 47 questions uh, which you have to attempt in 30 minutes. So it was also a speed test. And no numerical based questions were asked. So basically it was all about the fundamental questions. The written test was an elimination round. So out of 30 students who gave the written test, 6 students were selected for the GDPI process. Uh, in the group discussion, it was it was a scoring round. So uh, our group consisted of uh, nine, 9 members, 6 from chemical engineering and 3 from mechanical engineering. Uh, we were given a topic uh, uh, that was BTEC students for, uh, should pursue for MTech, not MBA. And we have to take a particular stand. So it was, I would say, a kind of debate, not a GD. And they took into consideration innovative ideas. After the group, group discussion, we were asked to fill a form in which they asked uh, regarding our field of interest. So we have to justify why we are interested in that particular field and how we can be helpful to LNT. Uh, those fields were designing, production, quality control, uh, project management. After that, we were called for the personal interviews in the Hazira campus of LNT. Now, before the interview started, uh, the interviewer studied the profile of all the candidates and the field, uh, the form that we filled before the interviews. I just uh, what I just talked about. The interview started with the common question, and I was asked to tell them about myself. So, something about my family background, my academics, and my hobbies, etc., etc. It was, it was a just brief description of myself. Uh, the interview lasted for about 50 minutes and they mainly focused on my technical skills. They asked uh, questions from the favorite subjects, uh, from the internships and my projects. As my favorite subjects were mass transfer operations and heat transfer operations, the interviewer started asking me questions from the mass transfer operation. I was asked to describe uh, how to find the number of theoretical trays in the distillation column by using the Macathele method. Then the interviewer started grilling me on uh, how the number of stages are affected when we increase the reflux ratio. So I described it. Then he asked me to describe the same by using the Macathele method. Then I was asked to uh, find out the optimum reflux ratio from the fixed cost and the variable cost. After that, they started asking me questions on heat transfer operations. 
I was asked to design a heat exchanger. So I designed I designed a heat exchanger using the Kahn's method. Then I was asked to uh, draw the profile of counter current and co current uh, heat exchanger and explain them uh, which one is more beneficial and why. Uh, apart from that, I was asked why the LMTD is used instead of a simple delta T, why the LMTD correction factor is used, and uh, uh, why the fouling factor is used. So basically, they, they focus mainly on the heat exchanger part. Uh, after that, they st started questioning me on my internship, which I did in IOC Vadodara. They asked me some basic questions like what was the output of the uh, plant, then what was the heart of the plant, etc. So they were very basic questions. Uh, then they concentrated on my project, which was about uh, installing the pressure reducing turbine in place of uh, orifice chamber to recover maximum energy and make the plant more efficient so if you have some fundamental knowledge of your favorite subject then the interview will be very much easier to you and the interviewer will be very frank and very cooperative they uh, i mean they they weren't interviewing me they were interacting with me and uh, the technical stuff uh, lasted for about 40 to 45 minutes and in the last uh, 5 or 5 to 10 minutes they asked me uh, about my hobbies and all that and about my soft skills so basically it was all technical if you have fundamental technical knowledge then you can easily act the, uh, crack the PI now what I would suggest for the uh, preparation of whole process is that prepare the fundamentals of chemical engineering basic 4 subjects STO, MTO, FFO and MO to clear the written exam and as far as the interviews are questioned prepare only 2 or 3 subjects but very well they will ask only from that and the fundamental questions the interviews are very easy uh, and my one more advice don't try to diversify your profile much more in the resume if you have basic technical knowledge then you will definitely get placed uh, so I think that's all about LNT's process and all the best for your future. Thank you.